channel on SPM Tips. Now in the part one of uh, story writing, I have done uh, how to prepare a plot uh, using the Foursquare storyboard. So this is part two and in part one we have discussed and written out a plot uh, regarding the snatch theft event and our heroine Susan. So if you put it together uh, using the Foursquare board, Foursquare story board, it would look like this. It has a beginning, it has a problem. You can see that uh, Susan lost her handbag. And there is also a solution where who came to help Susan, right? And then you have the ending where Susan thank someone, pray someone. So if you put it together, all that we have done with the notes, you would get this, right? If you see the next slide, you would get this short uh, essay, short story. It's about 160 words, okay? And so it is not enough for SPM. So many students face this problem. Uh, their essays are rather short and they find that it's rather difficult to increase the length. So this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to teach you how to pad it up, how to increase it through elaborations that are appropriate and relevant. Eh? Don't add other things that are not relevant, but still it's going to make your uh, story interesting. Eh? These elaborations will make it better. So how do we increase uh, your essay to 200 to 250 words? Okay? So I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, look at this slide. This is about 228 words. Maybe afterwards when we finish, it will be uh, about 250. I'm not sure. So let's see. Uh, you would see that I've used about the same thing, four paragraphs only. But I have increased uh, the, the elaborations. So if I were to take it out section by section, Maybe you can see the difference. Huh? So let's go. Let's do the beginning. Now the original one. Last Sunday, Susan wanted to go shopping at the mall. She wanted to get a new dress for her birthday party. She was on cloud nine as, as she had not been out for a few weeks. Okay, so I've used the WH questions to write this one. If you follow the WH question which I put here, you would get this, right? So, when? Last Sunday. Who? Susan. What did she want to do? She wanted to go shopping. Where? At the mall. So, if you're very weak in English, you just use the four WH question to write your first sentence, okay? Then, why? Why does she want to go to the mall? She wanted to get a new dress for her birthday party. She was on cloud nine would be why, right? Uh, get the dress and how does she feel? She was on cloud nine. Okay, now to take it to the next level, look at the one on the right. What did I do? Okay, let's read first. Last Sunday, Susan wanted to go shopping at the mall. She wanted to get a new dress for her birthday party. She was looking forward to go to the city as she had been quarantined in her house for the past two months due to the pandemic, right? So I'm adding something very current here. This is what we are all going through. So I'm adding the feelings. Why? Why does she want to go? Because she had been quarantined for so long. That's the reason. Eh? She's not too happy staying at home. You can also say that. So I've added one or two sentences. Really don't need to add a lot because just now we were already at 160 and now uh, the 60 words only. So one or two lines here and there, you will be okay. Right, so let's look at the problem. How did I increase the problem? So in the old one, the, begin, uh, the part one, I had just done uh, simple sentences showing how uh, a thief had snatched her handbag. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just adding some details and also describing more action, what actually happened. Okay, let's read together. When Susan arrived at the mall, 
it was already packed like sardines okay you learn this at pt3 as well packed like sardines the place is crowded there were many shoppers as eager as her susan headed to forever 21 her favorite store so what did i do here i'm adding a name to the store she was browsing at some dresses when she felt a heavy tug somebody pulled something suddenly someone pushed her down before she realized it someone had pulled her handbag she shouted as she saw the thief dashed out of the shop she shouted as she saw the thief dashing out sorry okay dashing out of the shop some of the shoppers did not realize anything till she screamed or did not realize what had happened till she screamed so basically i'm just adding a description of what actually happened so let's look at the solution now remember the solution is where who came to help susan who did what okay so your sentences are always based on who did what to help susan so let's look at uh, the longer one then a boy who witnessed the event chased the thief as he made his way down the elevator so i'm adding the elevator part here a woman alerted a security guard nearby so a woman shouted for the uh, security guard and tell him what happened the thief weave in and out so i've highlighted it here weave in and out means going in and out of the crowd uh, trying to avoid being caught so that's a good phrase there uh, copy this some passers by who heard the commotion lent a hand and they managed to catch the thief so people who saw passers by were walking and shopping over there saw the commotion or heard the noise of what's going on and they lent a hand right and they managed to catch the thief another idiomatic phrase here by this time some policemen had arrived at the scene so meaning they had caught the thief okay ending remember i said three phrases that you can use to thank someone to praise someone and to uh felt grateful huh? feeling grateful uh, she felt grateful and finally she learned the lesson okay so i didn't really add anything the last part except finally susan heaved a sigh of relief to get her handbag back huh? she felt relief very happy to get her handbag back she praised the boy and the security guard for their quick action she was also grateful to the passers-by who helped Susan, who helped her, sorry. Susan learned that she ought to be more careful whenever she goes out. As the saying goes, better to be safe than sorry. So I ended it with uh, another idiomatic phrase or a proverb just to uh, put it all together. So I hope this helped you to see uh, how I make it even longer. Now I've just shown you today how to make your story longer by adding details, by adding descriptive words, by adding idiomatic expressions, and also by giving some elaborations like reasons, giving examples, okay? So in my next video, I will be doing a story about an accident. So don't forget to subscribe. And I've also added the essay on uh, Susan at the at the description so that you can uh, have a copy of it so I'll see you in my next video bye